Hey guys, I'm Annie, and if you want to learn about a small but vicious little fish, stick around. And they are not behind me. Meet our Bucktooth Tetra, or Exodon Paradoxus. These guys are actually fairly easy to care for, but extremely difficult to keep with other fish. It's actually probably best just to keep them in their own species tank. These small fish have a big personality. Native to South America, these guys will eat just about anything I put in the tank for them. We drop frozen bloodworms in there, krill, little pellets. They swarm like bees. Some of their coolest behavior to watch is them eating. Here, check it out. It's just, it's one of the best things about these fish. Are these smaller fish a predator? More like a munching little parasite. These fish actually don't benefit from the death of a fish, they just enjoy the scales. So they're not actually going out there to kill the fish, they just want to eat the fish's scales. So I recommend you keep these guys in a larger group, that way they don't hurt each other. We have at least 12, I would recommend even more, and a nice long tank to give them great swimming space and lots of plants, lots and lots of plants because they hide between those plants and that helps protect them from other bucktooth tetra even. They come from a habitat with a lot of greenery on the bottom and these fish actually hide within the plants. I think I even mentioned that. Sometimes they eat them too, but you shouldn't be too worried about them uh, destroying the plants. Uh, you want to emulate maybe sandy riverbanks and the floodplain lagoons. We've got smooth stones, sunken wood. These are all really great options for your tank. These South American fish typically have a pH around 7 and their water temperatures between 75 and 82. We usually never go below 78. I'd say they're 78 to 80 degrees. And take a look at the great color on these fish, the yellow and the red tints, that metallic bright little silver glimmer when they move really quick. It's so pretty to watch. I just love that movement. Definitely, definitely make sure they've got great water quality so that you can see that shimmer and see that color. Uh, sometimes you can even catch a green or a purple uh, shimmer, which is really pretty. They've got these two very large spots that help identify them as, a, as the tetra. These tetra have been bred in captivity, but I do hear that it can be very difficult to breed them. So I don't know if that's a task that I would ever take on. I'd have a lot to learn about breeding these guys. If you want a hardy, unique, but aggressive fish that can fit in a fairly moderate sized tank, I think these Bucktooth Tetra would be awesome. Thanks for watching, subscribe, hit that bell, and see you next time.